Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Abhishek Mamedi. In this video, we will discuss about what is AutoML, Enterprise AutoML tools, open source Python AutoML libraries, and in each of them, we will see how to install and use them, sample example code, and some important points to note. Let's get started. What is AutoML? AutoML is automated machine learning. It automatically selects the best methods and hyperparameters for pre-processing and modeling. You just have to give data as an input and it outputs the best pipeline for your data set based on your metrics. These are some of the AutoML tools offered by different companies. Some of them are Data Robot, H2O Driverless AI, RapidMiner, Microsoft's Azure Machine Learning, Google's Prediction API, Amazon Machine Learning and BigML. There are so many other tools as well. Do check it out. Some of the most popular open source libraries are AutoSkelon, Teapot and HyperOptSkelon. Let's go to each one of them. The first one is AutoSkelon. From the documentation, it says AutoSkelon is an automated machine learning toolkit and a drop-in replacement for a scikit-learn estimator. You just have to replace scikit-learn estimator with AutoSkelon classifier. That's it. Let's say if you are using logistic regression or decision tree classifier, instead of that one line, you just have to replace with this one line AutoSkelon.classification.AutoSkelon classifier and everything work as is. Let's see how to install it. You can directly install using pip install autoSkelon and they highly recommend installing autoSkelon into a virtual environment or an Anconda environment or else they have one system requirement which is Linux operating system for example Ubuntu. They specifically mentioned that autoSkelon doesn't work properly on Windows and Mac OS. So make sure that you install autoSkelon into a virtual environment. Here is the example on how to use auto scale on. If you see this example, everything looks similar except this one line of code. You just have to replace a scale on estimator with auto scale on estimator. That's it. That's the only thing you have to do. As this is auto ML library, this will try different combinations of methods and pre-processing methods. So that's why this will take a lot of time. Even on this digit data set, this will take one hour to train and it will return you a model which gives an accuracy of about 98% which is very good. In their paper, they discuss their improved AutoML approach. They have added two main components to Bayesian hyperparameter optimization. The first one is meta learning for initializing the Bayesian optimizer. When we initialize with good set of parameters, then training will converge early. That's why they have focused on initializing the Bayesian optimizer. And the second one is ensembling. They have included an automated ensemble construction step, which allows us to use all classifiers that were found by Bayesian optimization. These are the two main improvements that they have discussed in the research paper. If you want to read the full research paper, you can check out the reference paper that I have provided. Let's discuss the components of AutoSkelon. AutoSkelon comprises of 15 classification algorithms, 14 pre-processing methods and 4 data pre-processing methods. The 4 data pre-processing methods are rescaling, one-hot encoding, imputation and balancing. And few pre-processing methods are PCA and fast ICA. And some of the classification algorithms are random forest, Hadaboost and KNN. They parameterize each of them and it resulted in a space of 110 hyperparameters. If you want to see all the algorithms and pre-processing methods that they are using, please do check out their paper. I want to mention one point here. AutoSkelon cannot be used for regression or semi-supervised problems. Currently, it only supports classification problems. In future, they might release a new version which supports regression and supervised problems as well. Let's discuss another AutoML library, Teapot. The full form of Teapot is Tree-Based Pipeline Optimization Tool. Teapot is a Python automated machine learning tool that optimizes machine learning pipelines using genetic programming. So Teapot uses genetic programming to optimize the best machine learning pipeline. If you see this image, this is the portion where Teapot automates. Teapot explores thousands of possible pipelines to find the best one for your data. These are the different steps that is automated by Teapot. Feature selection, feature pre-processing, feature construction, model selection and parameter optimization. And the best part of Teapot is, once it finishes searching, it provides you with the Python code for the best pipeline it found, so that you can use that code in your projects. Let's see how to install Teapot. You can install using pip install teapot command, or you can use conda install minus c conda forge teapot. 
you can also install additional dependencies like exeboost, dask and daskml. Unlike other libraries, tpot also uses exeboost in addition to sklearn estimators. And also, tpot makes use of dask and daskml which parallelizes your code, which is really a useful feature for us. Here is the tpot classification example. Similar to auto sklearn library, you just have to change one line of code. You have to replace sklearn estimator with tpot classifier. And as tpot relies on genetic programming, you have to specify number of generations and population size as well. At the end, you can just export the final pipeline into a Python file. And the final Python file looks like this. How helpful is this? The final Python file has all the libraries that are required, reading the input file, splitting the data set, and the final pipeline, which gives you the best accuracy. This will be very useful for domain experts with very less knowledge on machine learning. They can just copy paste this code and use this in their projects. Few points to note. You can use tpot for both classification and regression problems, unlike auto SQL and library. Typical tpot runs will take days to finish, but you can always interrupt the run and just see the best results so far. And the best thing is tpot also provides a warm start parameter and it lets you restart a tpot run from where it left off. This is also one of the best features of tpot. And tpot's optimization algorithm is stochastic in nature, which means that it uses randomness to search the possible pipeline space. Let's say, for example, when two tpot runs recommend different pipelines, this means that tpot runs did not converge due to lack of time or that multiple pipelines perform more or less the same on your dataset. So make sure that you give enough computational resources and enough time so that tpot converts to the single solution. Let's discuss the third AutoML library, Hyperopt Scalern. Hyperopt Scalern wraps the Hyperopt library and allows for the automatic search of data preparation methods, machine learning algorithms, and model hyperparameters for both classification and regression tasks. You may be wondering what is Hyperopt library. Hyperopt library is used for distributed hyperparameter optimization and makes it easy for us. Let's see how to install it. One of the dependencies for Hyperopt SQL is Hyperopt. You can install Hyperopt using pip install Hyperopt. And for installing Hyperopt SQL, you can clone it from GitHub. Here is an example of Hyperopt SQL. You just have to create an Hyperopt estimator and call fit to train the model. This is very similar to other libraries as well. The best part of Hyperopt SQL is you can specify the search space. For example, you can specify which algorithm to use or which pre-processing methods to use. If you see here, let's say the input data set is text. So I just want to use tf-idf as pre-processing methods and any sparse classifier. If you know which algorithm works best, you can specify them before itself so that you can reduce the runtime. You can also specify any classifier so that it searches all possible classifiers. And currently, three algorithms are implemented in Hyperop. They are Random search TPE and adapt to TPE. TPE is tree of parsion estimators. Currently in this code, we are using TPE. In this way, using Hyperopt SQLearn, you can reduce the search space as well. And Hyperopt SQLearn can be used for both regression and classification problems. In this video, we have discussed what is AutoML, different enterprise AutoML tools, open source AutoML libraries, and we saw how to install them, how to use them, and main points. I hope this video gave you enough knowledge to choose AutoML library for your use case. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Meet you in the next video. Keep learning.